Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and the second New York Fashion Week vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right loves, so it is day four for me of New York Fashion Week. I'm very excited. Today, not doing much. I'm really just hanging with the girls today. I did have a show, um, but I have a few things I need to do instead. I need to actually head back to Saks. I need to exchange something and then pick up something. So again, we doing some shopping. Like, look, my creative juices are flowing after seeing all the fashion that you would have seen in the first New York Fashion Week vlog, going to the Tia Adiola show, heading over to the Tanya Taylor showroom, seeing all of my girls decked out in all of their outfits. Like, it has gotten my creative juices flowing and your girl is ready to buy stuff. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And then later on today, I'm heading for drinks, some cocktails with my girls. You're gonna see some of everybody in this vlog. And then I'm heading to dinner with some friends. So today is all about social, being social. And then we're gonna hop back into the fashion shows tomorrow and Monday. I actually got so many questions on my Instagram while I was insta storying about New York Fashion Week and going to the shows and the restaurants and how to get in. So I did a two part um, live on Instagram and I saved it as an IGTV. So if you wanna know anything about getting into New York Fashion Week, um, how to get into the shows, how to get hotel stays, how to work with brands, everything you need to know about New York Fashion Week. If you can come, if you are not affiliated with fashion, um, how to send a show request, all of the tea is in those two videos over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, head on over to my Instagram, at Monroe Steele. Make sure you're spelling it right, because some of y'all don't be spelling Monroe right. And then head to my profile, Go to, I believe it's the second or third icon. It looks like a play button, like you press play. Um, and then you just look at the titles. There are two videos titled New York Fashion Week Chats. Watch those. I give you all the tea on how to get into New York Fashion Week. That was very, very fun. So if you tune into that, thank you so much. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. You would have already seen this in the New York Fashion Week first part one video where I went through and showed you guys every single outfit I'm gonna be wearing for fashion week. So make sure you watch that video first or you're just gonna be so behind and confused when you watch this video. But I'll go ahead and do a little recap. Today I am wearing this and Other Stories sweater dress. I actually got this in from the brand earlier this week and I absolutely love this dress. I'm wearing a size small, it fits perfectly. It's kind of like a green color. It's not coming up the true color. Here it looks a bit brown. In person it definitely looks like a hunter green. And I paired it with my Loewe Obi belt. You guys know I love this belt, it is everything. I'm wearing the medium. I mean the medium fits me really well. I'm a US size six. Um, in jeans, I'm normally a 28. So if you're around the same size, a medium will work perfectly for you. If you are a little bit bigger than that, maybe the large, smaller, the, you can get the small. Today's shoe is the Stuart Weitzman black parton boots. They're super comfortable, they're very chic. And today's earrings are different from the ones I actually wore in my like previous video. These are J.W. Anderson earrings. You guys know I love J.W. Anderson. I have a pair of green cargo pants from him that I wear all the time. Every time I wear these cargo pants, I get so many questions about them. They are super old, but J.W. Anderson is definitely one of my favorite designers. I got these earrings from Shopbop many years ago. Um, Shopbop has an amazing array of earrings, by the way. Um, so if you're interested, if, there, if any of this is still available, it'll be linked down below in the description box, just expand the screen. I'm gonna pick a fragrance, grab my bag, we're gonna call an Uber, we're gonna head on down to Saks Fifth Avenue, maybe we'll stop in a few designer stores, then we're gonna come back here, get ourselves ready for an evening of fun with friends. All right guys, let's do it. All right guys, so here is the look. The lip also is NARS Mysterious Red Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I'll link it below. Parton boots and other stories dress, size small. Bag, Balenciaga sm small hourglass bag. If you watched my video about 
my winter favorites you guys know this bag got me through and it is one of my best purchases of uh 2021 so let's pick a fragrance you guys know all of new york fashion week i've been wearing la labo tay noir 29 mixed with gentle fluidity gold and every time i wear it everyone is giving me so many compliments it's like i almost don't even want to wear anything else but i want to try something a little different so i think what i'm going to do is wear baccarat rouge 540 and i'm going to mix that with the tay noir and see how that does for today all right we're gonna do the baccarat as the base you know what i'm gonna buy another one of these today because this is gone oh baccarat smells incredible gonna top it with three pumps of this that's the secret sauce that wasn't a good enough pump okay just four sprays all right the sun is actually out today so i'm going to pop on my and other stories kind of celine knockoff sunglasses i do actually have celine's but you see the difference these are much more fashion girl like i feel like you wear these with jeans and these are a really great dupe i've had them for forever um and and other stories makes them in a ton of colors white tortoise shell um and black and they're like 30 bucks so i'll link them down below because they definitely still have those as well as the fragrances. And that's today's look. I'm not gonna wear a coat because it's 60 degrees and I'm gonna be inside most of the day and I just don't feel like lugging a coat around when I'm trying to shop, I like to be hands-free. Um, I'm gonna pop a battery in this bag, pop you guys in here um, and we're gonna head.
Literally it's, 30 minutes. It's, I know. it's all of these ladies. Period. It's all the sneakers for me. I need a sneaker. Really I, 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 need one, I need my feet are so happy. It's oh, yeah. it's the it's the Air Force ones for me. We're doing Bottega. And, and the Bottega boots for me. And I'm over here in heels. I made it to public. After a long, hearty day of shopping, I met up with the gals, Monica, Janae, and Esteja. I actually just literally ran into them, like on the street. No, just kidding, we coordinated that. But then we ended up going to Fendi, and now I'm back here at public. I'm gonna touch up my makeup because I've had on a mask, but we're doing like drinks here, and then we're gonna have some dinner, I think at STK meeting up with Tashira of Politics and Fashion. I haven't met her yet. Oh, you're gonna love her. You gonna she's love her. already met her, but I'm looking forward to meeting her. She's really, really dope. So I ended up going to Saks. I had to go back into Fendi and I looked at a few bags. Um, I'm really big on Fendi right now. I'm feeling like I'm a Fendi girl. Like I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. They have some really cute stuff in there. I actually really love their big like oversized kind of square um, Fendi handle bag in like a beige. It was really cute. After that, I went into Celine and I looked at this really cute pink bag and they also had this little mini bag, like this little tiny pink bag. It was so cute. I think I'm turning it into a new Celine girl. Like, I always loved old Celine, like Phoebe. That's my girl. I can't wait till her line comes out. But I'm liking a little bit of what Celine is doing. I always love their sunglasses and their shoes, but I feel like I'm getting more into like their bags and maybe even their clothes. We'll see. Um, after Celine, where did I go? I went and I tried on a ton of sunglasses. I ended up buying two pair. I'm gonna do an unboxing tomorrow morning for you guys. I don't know what it is about sunglasses, but I just have to buy them all the time. And I think it's because I, I actually. Get a good oh well. You know, you get, you just gotta get the gems when you see them, and then you always have the gems. That's you the know, thing. Oh my God, where are you get them? These two years old. The, like, exactly. Sunglasses are not made a lot. Like once, you know. They don't make the good ones over and over. Some brands don't. Sometimes they discontinue them. So you have to get them when the getting is hot. So I bought two pair of sunglasses and also because I actually wear them a lot, especially when I'm in Miami, like you can't step outside in that sun without them. Um, so I'll show you those two pair of sunglasses that I got tomorrow. I think I went to the shoe section, of course to Celine. I tried on a few sneakers. Y'all know I'm a heel girl. I don't have that many pairs of sneakers. The only sneakers I have are the kind of the ones that I work out in. I do have a few colorful pair of sneakers. Every now and then I wear those in the summer with like my dresses. But I've been needing some comfortable sneakers and so I tried on a few pair from them and I actually bought two pair. I'll show you guys what I bought. And I think that's it. That's all I did. That's all I did. And then I went and I met up with them. We headed over to Fendi, the flagship on 57th and Madison. 
and that store is beautiful it's gorgeous in there um and just looked at more bags um some of their really cute new shoes um just chatted it up and then we took a car here um because we're gonna have drinks in about half now. an hour <laughs> now we're supposed to be having drinks now i was gonna go home and change and do like an outfit change for you guys but that's okay because the outfit i was gonna wear tonight i can wear tomorrow so you'll see that new outfit but so far a really good day oh i forgot after i finished shopping i did go to lavenu which is the restaurant on i believe it's the top floor of Saks. i've been there before last new york fashion week they had a party in that room that's where that huge party was but it's really nice in there the service is great they sat me right away and i ended up getting the spicy lobster mm. spaghetti oh and I got a mocktail that was delicious and some like really warm bread. Everything was so good. The service was really good. It was very cute in there. Everybody in there looked like they were all dressed up and nice for New York Fashion Week. Everyone was complimenting my outfit. That's always nice. Then after that, I met up with the girls. So I got you all caught up. I'm going to do all of the unboxings first thing tomorrow morning. But this evening, it's all about drinks, cocktails fun and dinner so stay tuned i'm gonna go ahead and do something <laughs> because this this is not the the move. the move this is not the look that i was going for oh this is where the light is i should have did all of that in here Whoops. it's okay i forgive you all right guys i will check in soon the red
happy Valentine's Day. Mm, mm. Every day is the 14th. <laughs> hey y'all, hey y'all. So today is Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. So yesterday, I actually woke up bright and early with every intention to go to the two fashion shows I had on my list for the day. But then I looked out the window and it was snowing. Like it snowed all day yesterday, y'all. So you know what I did? I stayed inside. I washed my hair <laughs> and then I blew it out for the first time with not a lot of heat. And then I did a two strand twist on dry hair with the Camille Rose uh, Twisting J Butter. And I just took it out this morning. This was the first time I've ever done this, so I'm glad that it turned out okay. So today I am heading to the Tibby show. It's actually just a presentation um, in their studio. And I think my girl Janae is going to join me, um, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. But let me give you a little recap. So the last time we were together, I was in Janae's room and I recapped the day. After that, we actually went upstairs to a little cocktail hour at Public Hotel. The Kensington Gray team run, ran by Toronto Shay on Instagram. She put together a shindig with just all the girls. All the girls were there. It was really, really fun. It was like a reunion. A lot of these ladies I haven't seen in a while. I saw my girl, my epiphany there, Naya. She actually was in one of my uh, recent Miami vlogs. When she came to visit, we went to Little Hen. So I saw her. I saw my girls from NYC Times Clothes, the sisters, they were there. Um, of course, my girl Monica was there looking fabulous. Nesteha was there, half of the Yusef sisters. I saw my girl Semi Moonlight there. That's um, her handle, definitely follow her. Just some of everybody was there and we all just had an amazing time drinking, eating, dancing, laughing, of course, taking photos, of course, getting plenty of content. Oh yeah, my girl Coco um, was there as well. So we just had an amazing time. Like, it was perfect. And to end the night, me and Janae, we headed to STK in the Meatpacking District. I've actually never been there. I've only ever been to the one in Miami. To meet up with my girl, um, Tashira of Politics and Fashion. If you have not checked out her YouTube channel, Politics and Fashion, she is so funny. Like, she is hilarious. And we have been DMing, kiki it up for years. Um, I feel like she's a close friend. She's super supportive. And I just love everything that she stands for and everything that she's doing. Please go check out her YouTube channel, Politics and Fashion. You will not be disappointed. Her personality is incredible. I just love her. She's amazing. Her and her partner, Henri, we met them and we had a beautiful dinner. I ended up getting, what did I get? I got the lamb. I believe Janae had the lobster linguine. We had some oysters. We had some drinks. I mean, it was like a party in there. Like, literally, you had to stand in line and get a wristband to get into STK. But I guess it's because it's New York Fashion Week. Everybody's out. Everybody is just on the scene. The food was good. The vibes were good. We had such a lovely time, and it was really great meeting the Shira. Uh, she's incredible it was a really nice evening i came home and i chilled so um now i'm getting ready to head to the presentation but i do want to show you guys what i got when i went shopping with the girls the other night we i ended up going to Saks to get something replaced and then i just i i went i went insane i went to the shoe department i was all i went to the sunglasses department and I bought some things. Y'all see all those boxes right there on the table? So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of everything I got, show you my outfit of the day, and then we're gonna head to the Tibby show. Afterwards, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure who's still in town. A lot of people usually leave on Monday, um, but we'll see who's still in town. Maybe we'll get a brunch or something, hang out with Janae. I know she has a show after, but let's get into what I got. You guys, I have been watching Anna, something Anna, and I am addicted. Like, I I tried to binge it yesterday, but the episodes are really long. I mean, I guess that's good when the episodes are long, but this whole thing is nuts. It's the privilege for me. If you are looking for something to watch on Netflix, definitely check that out. It's pretty good. And of course, it's written by 
Shonda Rhimes and you know she's black and it's Black History Month so we're supporting all things black. Let me sit you guys down. I have to pop you on a tripod and then we will do all of this unboxing and then I mean I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's get into the unboxing you guys. Here are the goods. All right guys so if you didn't watch the first New York Fashion Week vlog you would have missed me buying this from Fendi. Um, so I'll just re-show it quickly again. But this is what I got. I got the Fendi kind of like little wrist bag. It's leather, super cute and tiny. You can wear it on your wrist like so. I had to go get mine replaced. Um, there was a faulty with the first one. But this comes in a beautiful silver. You would have seen, I can't remember who, maybe Monica earlier in this video trying the silver one on. And the silver and gold, stunning. And they also have it in like an off-white and maybe like a pinky nude color. But the black really works for me. I was thinking of getting the white, but you know, girl, brown girl problems, like brown makeup on a tiny bag that you're always going to be holding. I just thought the black would suit me better. So that's what I got um, updated. You guys would have seen me try on a ton of sunglasses and of course I did buy some of them. Um, if you voted on, in, on Instagram stories, thank you. Uh, but the first pair that I got is from Versace. I actually have a few pair of Versace sunglasses and I love their sunglasses. But I've seen these on quite a few of my friends. No Ordinary Noir on Instagram. She's a good friend of mine. I refer to people in <laughs> Instagram handles because I feel like you're gonna wanna follow them. So yeah, she has these and she was like, girl, get them. And so I did and they are stunning. They are these Versace sunglasses. I love the shape of them. They're just so cool. Let me show you how they look on. It's the vibes for me. It's, uh, and then they look so good the other day when I had on a, a bright red lip and my hair up in a puff, but I am into them. Um, these are still available. I'll link them down below. I have a feeling they're not gonna be available like come summer when you're gonna want them. So if you're into them, get them now. I believe you can even get these on Farfetch right now on sale. They're definitely having like a Valentine's Day 15% off deal going on. Also, I do have a code at Farfetch. It is still 10, all capital letters, where you can get a discount if it's like your first time shopping there. They are currently $3.42. I've seen a ton of different prices for these. I think on Farfetch, they're like $2.15. So I'll link these if you guys are interested and you can check them out. In addition to those, I got a pair of Alexander McQueen sunglasses. <laughs> um, I did wear this really beautiful Alexander McQueen skirt in the New York Fashion Week video one, so make sure you check that out. But look at this case. It's so nice. It's like a beautiful green kind of, what is this? What is this, velvet? Yes, velvet, beautiful case. And I don't have any McQueen sunglasses, so uh, they're beautiful. They're like a pinky red with kind of like either a silver or like, like these earrings aren't silver and they aren't gold. They're like something in between. This is what the hardware on this looks like. They're super big frames. Of course they had the little skull there for the McQueen symbol and my God. vibes see this is why you can't go sunglass shopping when you're you're in a full face because every single pair of sunglasses i tried on at Saks, they all look so good and the guys were like oh my god these are made for you you're you have a face that can wear any shape and i mean they're giving comment down below and let me know which pair you like on me the best these alexander mcqueen's or the versace oh they're so good these are going to be so good for summer so good for summer. And yo, these are gonna be great when I'm on a boat in Miami for my birthday. I'll link these down below as well. These were a lot more pricey coming in at like four something, I believe. But I mean, it's McQueen. 
what are you gonna do so those are the two pair of sunglasses i got and again like how beautiful what is this oh my god okay so when the guy was looking for the case for the mcqueen sunglasses he couldn't find them so he went down to the basement and came out with this and i thought this was for these sunglasses but this is actually a gucci <laughs> this is actually a gucci sunglass case and when i just looked in there just now i saw this little bag with this gucci symbol on it and there's some kind of necklace or something that you can hang how cute is that how cool this is actually really really cute because i do have several pair of gucci sunglasses that i can clip this onto and it's valentine's day and it's a heart and i had no idea that it was in here until just now look at us i love that for us sound off down below let me know which pair of sunglasses you like the most two more boxes or two more bags let's grab those so you would have seen me shopping in Saks in the shoe department at celine um and i ended up buying two pair of sneakers i am not really a sneaker girl but i'm trying to kind of get into it because you know a heel is just not appropriate for everything sometimes you just want to be comfy and I'm actually really loving everything that Celine is doing at the moment I've become a huge Celine fan I already love their sunglasses and I have several pair of those but I'm really kind of getting into their shoes I also have a pair of old Celine boots and the Celine puffy bag in fact let me grab it because a pair of the shoes is in my room anyway be right back hold, hold that thought okay i'm back so i have this celine poofy bag that everyone loves this is um old celine phoebe era i cannot wait till she drops her line y'all anywho when i saw these online i had to have them i had to they're giving first of all it's the celine for me wait let me let me show you how freaking cute are these? How cute. I got the size 40, which is a US women's 10. They fit perfectly. I'm really kind of a US 10, nine and a half. They're just a tiny bits of space at the front, but if I would've went, they only have half sizes in these. So if I went, would've went down to the 39, they would've been too small. But they are so comfortable. They feel like a cloud on the inside. And, oh, it's been a minute since I've had some high tops. So, you guys, they are stunning. And that will take a green. It gets me every time. It's This has a little Velcro part across the front. And, oh, Celine in the back. Ah! So, after I tried them on, I was like, dang, these are mad comfortable. And the lady was like, "They these are about to sell out. Like literally your size is the only size we have left and then when i went online to the celine's um website they they don't really have any sizes except for smaller 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 sizes so i knew i would probably never find these again so i hopped on them and i got them in that bottega green this is what they come in by the way each of them has a celine dust bag i also got them in black or with like the black outline and the Celine strap. Ah! I'm about to have some fashion girl moments in these y'all like, period. Sound off below. Let me know which ones are your faves. Again, I'm a US size 10. I got the size 40. They fit perfectly, maybe a tiny bit big. But again, these only come in half sizes. So keep that in mind. But both of them are a moment. I also just ordered a Celine sports bra um, in black and white. It's gonna look amazing with this. And I'm thinking about getting the newest Jacquemus Grand Chiquito bag in this green color. I think it's coming out soon um, to wear with this or maybe even the Bottega Mini Jody bag. I don't know though. I feel like everybody has that Jody bag. So I kind of wanted something different and I think the Jacquemus Grand Chiquito bag in green would go perfectly 
Um, these are, I believe, $8.25. So that is it. Oh, they also come with extra uh, laces. They come with a pair of white laces and a pair of black laces. So that is what I got from my shopping excursion with the girls at Saks. Sound off below. Let me know which pair of sunglasses you like the best and which pair of Celine sneakers you like the best. The green or the black. All right, so let me put all of these things up and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. Um, I actually did a little montage of all of the outfits I put together for fashion week. This one, it is a sweater from Zara. This is super old. The skirt is from Awake Mode. You guys know I love this skirt and Awake Mode makes amazing clothing. Um, for the shoe, I'm going with my brown Mista boots. Love those. For the coat, I'm going with my suede uh, multicolor or color block Rixo coat. And the bag is also a red Awake Mode bag. Um, so that was what I had planned when I put all of my outfits together. But because I'm going to the Tibby show today, I'm going to switch it up. And I'm going to put on a different coat and a different bag. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I changed the look slightly from when I initially put my outfits together. The earrings I'm wearing are the Chanel Drop Earrings. And I chose them because they're not silver and not gold, but they match the silver hardware in this blue, like baby blue satin tibby trench coat that I've had for a while. So because I'm going to their presentation, I just want to show my support by wearing a piece from the brand. Um, everything else is the same. Awake mode skirt, Mr. Boots old Zara sweater um, and I also switched out the bag today's bag we are going with this Gucci globe trotter tote this is actually pretty affordable when it comes to a designer bag it's under two thousand dollars it is rock hard great for travel it does have a pop lock open you just push that down um, and inside is this beautiful like deep blood red coloring it's just a beautiful bag it's been on my wish list forever love that bamboo handle i feel like the brown really gets picked up by the skirt in my outfit and it just kind of sets off the whole look so that's today's look we're gonna go ahead and call our uber and head on down to the tibby presentation by the way anything that's available of course will be linked down below in the description box. If it's not available, I will link similars. Let's go.
funny though. I'm like, I needed to see that. How are you? So good. How are you? I just feel like I'm missing you. Nice to meet you. We initially met the first time I think crossing the crosswalk from the Yes. We were on the street. Yep. It was so weird. And I was like, like gallery. I was like, like, like that. Hey, it's me. I'm always being <laughs> watching your cool set. You're doing amazing. Thank you so much. You oh, are you're doing, doing amazing. amazing. <laughs> you're killing it. I just love it though. I feel like you really like So I am back home and it is my favorite time of day. The light is so beautiful in my apartment around like 3.30, 4 o'clock. So I headed down to Tibby and my girl Janae joined me and we just had a blast. They had kind of like a virtual collection where you could see the pieces in action on the runway. We watched it on a screen and listened to the playlist, which was really, really cool. And then we actually went into the showroom and we're shown the collection, all of the pieces we were able to see, touch, really get a feel for them. I am loving all of the denim pieces, all of the shirling pieces. Um, there's this denim dress that was really cute. Um, I love how they do the pockets on their denim jeans in the back. They're like asymmetrical. I feel like Amy, Amy Smilovic, who's the designer at Tibby, she just has such a creative mind and I love how she just makes something that's that you would wear every day. That's kind of like a basic, just a little more extra. There were these shirling boots that I loved, kind of like a taupe, as well as kind of like a furry boot in black. All of the boots had kind of like a very short Western feel and a tiny heel. I think those are gonna be big come fall. Some amazing pieces. I actually love Amy. If you're not following Amy on Instagram, give her a follow. Her Instagram handle is Amy Smilovic. I've been following her for years because Tibby is actually one of my favorite brands of all time. I think it's a timeless brand. There's something for everybody, no matter if your style is more minimalist, um, a little more edgy, 
a little more avant-garde she literally has something for everyone the price points are really good for a contemporary designer brand as well i actually ran into her i think the last time i saw her in person no i've been to a few of her fashion shows since then but when we first met it was in paris we ran into into each other on the street and i was like oh my god amy and this was right after i had just went to one of her new york fashion week shows and then i went to paris so yeah it was really good connecting with her and she gives a lot of tips to up and coming designers about what goes into designing production creation so if you're in that field if you're into design and into clothing definitely follow her on instagram she just drops gems all the time she is one of those people who bust the gate wide open like not a gatekeeper at all she's incredible so we really enjoyed the show and then we headed over to italy to la pizza and la pasta la pizza and la pasta for lunch i ended up getting the lasagna which was delicious janae had the spaghetti bolognese i believe or cabernera everything was delicious we had delicious drinks we chatted we talked it up i i must say it's really great having friends in this industry especially real friends i know a lot of people might not know that all of us are actually really close like we're all friends not just social media friends i believe this is how we all met through social media but we have each other's phone numbers like we know where each other we all know where each other live like it's it's love and it's real and it's really great to just see everyone and have that kind of camaraderie afterwards we went over to the oculus did a little bit of shooting around um and then i just came home so what i'm gonna do is chill i am itching to finish watching that anna thing on netflix um and then i'm gonna get ready for dinner tonight with a few of the girls who are still in town and we might go to the laquan smith party hopefully cross my fingers i can get in or get a confirmation i will tune back in tonight and take you guys to get ready with me for the party and for dinner um but if you are enjoying today's video please give me a thumbs up it helps me out so much with the algorithm i would love to get at least five thousand likes on this video i know you guys can help me do it so tell your friends to tell a friend to watch my videos please do subscribe i'm trying to get to a hundred thousand this year it's one of my goals i would love to have you join the fam it's all fun and love over here so please join i will check back in with you guys this evening hello everyone um i have no idea what day of the vlog this is because i stopped vlogging um the last you saw of me i was supposed to maybe go to dinner and a party i ended up not going <laughs> um i had quite a bit of work that i needed to do so that's what i did and today i did have three shows to go to but i actually had to do a campaign i have to shoot a campaign today because i just got the product yesterday <laughs> and i was supposed to shoot it yesterday but this is the way these things go and this brand needs uh, this content to be up actually while fashion week is still going on so what's going to happen is i'm shooting this first thing this morning editing it sending it over to the brand hopefully getting it approved immediately and posting it later on today in conjunction with my first new york fashion week vlog going live so that's where we at y'all i did a quick face very kind of spring like wearing this zara bodysuit um, i'll show you the whole look in a minute this is the product that the brand sent over of course it is shoes and it is in this uh bergdorf goodman box i'm going to show you guys the product because of course by the time this video goes live this will already be up on instagram and you can head over there and give it a few likes so i'm working with sorrel the foot brand i love them i've worked with them a ton of times it's a great sneaker brand a uh, boot brand i have maybe like four pairs of their shoes but so comfortable and they sent these over apparently you could buy them at bergdorf goodman and these are super super cute 
I have been a lot more into sneakers lately. You guys saw I just bought those Celine sneakers. Well, ah! So now I have these Sorel sneakers. They are the Kinetic Breakthrough Lace in Eraser Pink. I have them in a nine and a half, which is my size. And here they are. They're super cute. I love the colors. Very much giving designer sneaker brand. Let me give you guys a better view. These are super cool. I really love the color. I will link them down below. They come in a few different colorways. This one is like muted eraser pink gray kind of a chalk color and then a bright green on the inside they are very very comfortable excited to be shooting this so i kind of made a look to match and they want this going up during new york fashion week which is why i had to take the day off because look your girl gotta get them coins i gotta make that money back from all these restaurants and such we're gonna shoot these this morning and then i'm gonna shoot one other look just to make it worth uh, my photographer's while i'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes of the shoot and then we will close out the final New York Fashion Week vlog. Let's go. All right, guys. So here's the look that I put together. I'm wearing this Zara bodysuit. This skirt is actually from the last fall collection that I have with something by Sanji. It is a reversible corduroy skirt with this cool little pocket. It's kind of like the paper bag waist. Um, and I just tied it kind of cool and different. It's a tulip skirt and it is reversible. Like I can turn it around and wear it on this side. The coat is from the Frankie shop. And of course the sneakers are from Sorel. So I like how this look came together. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a pair of earrings, a pair of sunglasses, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot. I'm using a new photographer actually. This photographer was available last minute. And also my good friend Nigel has a magazine. It's called Color Magazine for people of color. They've had some incredible covers. Like he's amazing. He's doing big things, Nigel, with his self-published magazine. Definitely check it out. But this is the photographer that he uses for all of his shoots. I mean, they've had Marlon Wayans. They've had everybody on the cover. So definitely check him out over on Instagram. It's Color Magazine with a K. So let's go shoot. All right, guys, done. Look one. All right, guys, so this is the second look I shot. Finally got to wear my new Alexander Wang denim coat. If you watched the first New York Fashion Week vlog, I did an unboxing. I bought this the same day that Janae of Hilo Lux and I went shopping. This sweater is super old. I actually bought it from Rent the Runway sample sale. Y'all know how I love a good sample sale. The lip is NARS Mysterious Red Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And then I'm wearing my stirrup pants from Sweaty Betty along with my Balenciaga White Knife Pumps. And I love how this turned out. I totally forgot to wear the bag with it, but that's okay. So here's the full look. Wearing my Sweaty Betty stirrups. And then I put the stirrups outside of the Balenciaga knife pumps. It just adds a little cool touch. If you want to try this trend, but you don't want to spend as much money on the stirrup pants, H&M has a ton of affordable versions of these stirrups, but I like the Sweaty Betty ones because they have fleece inside and they're really, really warm. But I'll link both down below. I'm wearing a medium in these and they are everything. All right, while I was out, I got a package from Celine. I'm gonna do an unboxing for you all. Um, I actually bought these to go with the sneakers that you would have seen earlier. I'll do an unboxing and then we will close out this New York Fashion Week vlog. All right, y'all, so here we go. A little something in from Celine. Of course, it comes in their stunning Celine boxes. All right, guys, so here, here we are. 
It's two things, two very small things. Oh, look, how cool is that? So after I bought the Celine sneakers, I had to get this. I'm not gonna try it on for you because I will be taking it with me to Miami and I'm doing another Miami vlog, but I got the Celine bralettes. It comes in this little cute pouch that you can definitely use for traveling, which is wonderful. I went with the size medium. I haven't tried these on, but my girl Janae tried on a medium and she said it was a little too snug and small for her. So I knew that it would be a good size for me because my bust is smaller. So it's just this Celine Heather Gray kind of bralette top or a sports bra top. It's super cute and it's gonna go so well with my Celine sneakers. I can see myself pairing this with my Margiela jeans with the slashes on the side and then my Celine sneakers and an oversized black blazer for just a chill like airport type of situation or look or running an errand. So I got that one and I also got it in black. This one is probably the hardest one to come by. Actually, the white one with the black letters. It's very, very hard to find. I also saw my girl Nesteha here during New York Fashion Week. She had a red one that she paired with, I think like a check skirt. It was so, so cute. But I haven't seen any other colors other than these. There's also a striped one. So this one's black with the Celine written at the bottom. And I just think it, they will go so well with my new Celine sneakers. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for the vlog. So sorry that I wasn't able to take you to more shows, but work kind of comes first. But I am planning on perhaps doing a, I think I've done one of these videos before about recreating fashion week looks with things in my closet and i did one last year was it last year or was it the year before hmm. and a lot of you asked me to do a new one like you guys love that video you thought it was very creative so i'm going to do another one very soon styling new york fashion week looks or recreating the looks with things already in my closet so those are fun stay tuned for that video and if you've never watched the first one i'll link it down below because I pretty much hit those looks dead on with the things I already had in my closet without having to buy anything new. And I'm all about shopping my closet. Y'all know I wear my stuff, okay? These stirrup pants, I've worn it to the ground. You've definitely seen this sweater at least 10 times on my Instagram, like I do not care. Your clothes are meant to be worn. I hope you all enjoyed this second New York Fashion Week vlog. If you haven't watched the first one, watch that one next. I appreciate you guys taking this ride with me and all of the love you showed me over on my Instagram, over on my TikTok. Yes, I am on TikTok. Give me a follow at Monroe Steel on TikTok. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed the video, please do give your girl a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. I'm trying to get at least 5,000 likes on this video. You might think that your like doesn't matter, your thumbs up doesn't matter, but it does. It helps your girl out. Please do consider subscribing. If you watch this whole video, you liked it. If you watch this whole video, you, 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 we here. Go ahead and subscribe and become a member of the family and definitely click the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. Hopefully, we all know YouTube be on, YouTube be doing, doing some things sometimes. Sometimes they don't be notifying y'all, but I'm gonna let you know right here, right now, there will always be a video every Sunday and every Wednesday, sometimes a bonus video on Fridays. And if there isn't going to be one, I will definitely let you all know in my community board. So make sure you're checking out the community board because I post a lot of coupon codes, sales, things that came back in stock that I showed you in a video that sold out and just cool things that are happening with me on my blog events. So make sure you're checking out the community board. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Everything is linked down below in the description box. All right, bye guys. Till next fashion week, September. Can't wait.